Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an early autumn haul. I am getting so incredibly excited about the new season and I love summer, but there is something so magical about autumn, all the beautiful rich colors, the leaves, the layers. I just love all of it. Uh, so I have been doing a little bit of shopping. I have some clothing in here and um, I have one or two home decor picks as well. Just a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is a cardigan, and for me, autumn is all about cardigans. I love a good knit cardigan, and the ones coming out this year are just beautiful, and they're a lot more wearable as well, because even though they do have that boxier fit, a lot of them are more cropped, which just makes them so easy to wear. I think they look great with denim, but also really cute with skirts as well. You can really play around with proportions, and because it is a little bit cold, you can layer these up as well. And I thought this was just so super cute. This one comes in a few different colors. I went for this beautiful pale gray. I really love my gray shades, particularly because I do have some gray bags, which I just absolutely love. So if I can incorporate any gray clothing into my wardrobe, I try to. And this one is just so dreamy. Like it's so soft and lovely. You do have these great buttons right here on the front. This adorable little pocket detail right here as well. And again, it's boxy, but without being kind of huge and too loose and unflattering. Like, I think oversized is fun, but if it's too big, then you just kind of lose all of your shape. And I just never think that's flattering, at least on me. Um, whereas this kind of really strikes the balance between being nice and loose and comfortable, um, but without completely losing its shape. And I just love it. Just super, super cute. This cardigan is from Abercrombie, as are quite a few of the pieces that I'm sharing in today's video. They were nice enough to part sponsor this video, and their new arrivals at the moment are so gorgeous, very, very autumnal in feels. So they have a lot of great knits, lots of great layering pieces, beautiful autumnal shades, and a lot of great denim as well. I would definitely recommend checking out their new arrivals page. I will link that down below, and I will also be linking everything that I'm sharing here, along with the size I took for reference if you are interested in anything. I also wanted to share a couple of restocks, and these are some of my favorite items from last year. I absolutely love them, and they've just been restocked for the coming season. The first one is this knit set combo, um, so it's like a crop top with a matching cardigan. I have this in a few varieties and colors and it sold out crazy fast last year like as soon as they brought it on the site I swear it sold out and they've just brought it back in a new variety and it is the most adorable thing it fits really nicely really great with some high-waisted jeans you can also team it with a skirt if you want to just absolutely adorable and so easy with a twin set as well like you don't have to worry about matching just so so gorgeous and then I also wanted to mention my fleece and I actually got this one two years ago I remember because I got it at the same time that I moved into this house and I wore it all the time because they are crazy soft and it took a little bit of adjusting for me to get used to a very warm apartment going to a much colder house so this was on constant repeat I still wear it all the time when it's cold that is because these are very very warm but they're so adorable they have this great asymmetrical detail this quilting it's just lovely like they wash and wear very very well as well especially for a fleece and I just adore them I have them a few colors they never get old and then I also wanted to mention my beloved jeans. So these are a straight leg variety and they are so great and so comfortable. I really discovered straight leg jeans for the first time last year. I'd always avoided the style because I just assumed they wouldn't really flatter me. I do have bigger hips and it's just tricky to find a really nice flattering pair. I found two pairs I liked, one very expensive and these which are so comfortable and these are probably the most comfortable jeans that I own in terms of the straight leg style because they have so much stretch and the key here is the curve love line. If you do have wider hips, I would definitely recommend checking it out. They fit so nicely, are incredibly flattering and are genuinely as comfortable as leggings. So I highly recommend. These have been restocked in my variety as well as a ton of new washes and they're just the perfect straight leg jeans which are also wonderfully comfortable as well. Speaking of jeans, I did get myself a new pair in a bigger size and you guys, I have tried with maternity jeans but I really, really dislike them, especially because like they do have that band which I understand is the point of maternity jeans but it really limits what you can wear with them. Like you can't wear anything other than a loose flowy top and I don't always want to wear loose flowy tops, um, so I really be missing my normal jeans. So I decided to grab these because they looked fantastic, and I do have amazing experiences with Abercrombie denim, like always so comfortable. So I just got a lower rise one so I can wear it below the bump, 
and they fit great and I can wear normal tops, which I am very, very excited about. Just a really nice classic wash. The right amount of stretch, they are incredibly comfortable as well. And I just love these, like super, super cute. I am looking forward to getting back into my straight leg denim, but for the time being, I'm very happy to have found these. Just the perfect skinny jean and the quality seems really, really lovely. Next up is this beautiful cardigan top and I love this. I mentioned before that I've been getting much more into my dark greens. I've said this before, but I never really kind of gravitate towards them too much, but whenever I have a piece of my wardrobe, I just love it and think it's such a beautiful color, especially when the weather does turn a little bit. And this one is so, so lovely. This one is a ribbed knit design, which I'm always kind of 50-50 about, like sometimes I really like them and sometimes I find them very unflattering. Whereas this one I find to be very flattering indeed. You have this beautiful sweetheart neckline which is so lovely. It just buttons down and you can wear it all buttoned up. You can kind of wear it looser if you want to. I think I'm probably going to wear it like as a buttoned up top rather than a cardigan but there is that option too. I'd say it's like a mid-weight knit and there is definitely some stretch this one as well. And it's just gorgeous, like I love the color. It is the perfect shade of green. This is really convincing me that I need a dark green handbag in my life. But I thought it was super cute, a little bit cropped, so I think it'd be perfect for high-waisted jeans, but also really, really cute with a nice midi skirt as well. And yeah, just everything that I wanted in a nice knit top, just super cute and perfect for these transitional weeks. Next up is the sweater, and not only is it absolutely adorable, but it is the softest thing ever. Like, it is so lovely to feel like you just wanna snuggle up in this, and it also helps that it really is just the cutest thing. So it has this lovely diamond uh, knit pattern all over. I believe this one did come in a few colors. I went for the kind of camel and cream colorway. I thought this would go beautiful with other brown shades, but also really nice just with generally neutral shades. You do have a slightly wider sleeve, and I have been seeing more of these about, um, but I don't feel like it's so big that it looks sloppy or anything like that. You do have a slightly higher neckline, not a roll neck or anything, it just sits a little bit higher than your normal crew neck, and it is a cropped one. Again, I do feel like this kind of straddles the line between being that nice chunky knit without being so oversized that it's just completely impossible to style, and you end up feeling frumpy, which I never like to do. And I thought this was so lovely, like how soft it is, it's just icing on the cake for me. Super cute, the colorway is perfect for autumn. And I just absolutely adore this. Like again, another really versatile one, which I feel like you could wear with pretty much everything. And it is comfortable enough that you're probably gonna want to. Just so snugly and soft, I absolutely adore it. And next up is the skirt. And I'm not always drawn to kind of rich chocolate brown shades, but the exception is definitely when the color is as beautiful and lovely as this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but the shimmer on it is lovely. And it's not a shiny one. Um, well, I guess it does have like a sheen, um, but it's not like glittery or anything like that. It has the most beautiful movement. Like it really is so stunning. Looks so much more expensive than it actually was. It's very, very soft, like very silky to the touch. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm not always drawn to like really warm chocolate brown shades. I would typically go for like more of a cool and neutral, but this color is so beautiful and it's pretty much just like an autumn update in one piece. You know, you can team this with little camis if you want to, chunky knits, a biker jacket, like so many different options. And I think it's so stunning, very, very flattering, especially for a bias cut skirt, which, I feel like they can be hit and miss in terms of the cut and actually how flattering they are. Whereas this one is lovely. It has an elasticator waist, so very easy to get on and off. And I just adore this. It really reminds me of the S Max Mara ones at a much more affordable price point. It is double lined as well, so it is beautiful quality. And I just think this is the loveliest thing. Now for a home decor piece. And I got these adorable little pots. So I have two of them, a smaller one and a bigger one and I thought they were so, so cute. So they are actually like little jars and I don't really have anything to put in them so they're probably gonna be empty if I'm honest with you, but I thought they were adorable. I'm planning on doing a little display in the middle of our kitchen island. I do have some kind of autumn leaves as well. Just gonna style it up, have a little kind of mini display in the center. This is exactly the kind of thing where Dan just looks at me in confusion. He's like, why are these things in my life? But 
I love them, I think they're adorable and they get me very, very excited for the new autumn season. And I just thought this was the cutest, cutest thing. So I'm very, very excited to decorating up the house. I'm not planning on going too crazy because to be honest, I don't have that many autumn accessories. But I thought a couple of pumpkins wasn't going too crazy and I was super happy with these. Next up is a bodysuit and I saw this and I just couldn't resist it. I thought it was so beautiful. If you follow me for a while, you will know how much I love a great bodysuit, particularly because I do wear so many skirts as well. They are just the best things for teaming with them because you really do avoid any lumps and bumps. And this one was just so different and beautiful. So you do have this little um, twist neck tie. So when I first got it, it took me a second to figure out how to actually arrange it. But once I did, I love the look of it. And what's unusual is that this is actually more of a knit one and usually my bodysuits are more of like a, not a spandex, but they're more of like a jersey kind of stretchy material. This one does have a lot of stretch to it, um, but it does have that knit effect. So it's perfect for autumn. It really does give you that little bit of texture without being super bulky and just too heavyweight to be flattering. I got mine in the black, typical me, um, but I know I get a lot of use out of my black bodysuits. And I just love this. It fits really, really nicely. This one is a true bodysuit, so it fastens up at the bottom. And they are so crazy comfortable to wear. Like even what my like six and a half months pregnant, I find them so comfortable. I could live in these all day long. And I also love the look and feel like they look so streamlined and chic. I just can't get enough. So absolutely love this one. Really, really happy with the find. I feel like knit bodysuits are just a whole discovery for me. I thought this one was adorable. Next up is a shacket, and I wasn't sure if shackets would make another return this year, but they really have, and I'm so happy about it because I think it's such a fun trend, particularly because I'm not a huge like plaid shirt girl. Like I do have a few, but to be honest, I don't really wear them that much. Whereas weirdly enough, I find shackets a lot easier to style just because they take the place of a traditional blazer. Whereas a flannel shirt, I just find they can be a little bit lumpy and difficult to style under jackets. Whereas this just kind of solves that problem and you still get that really beautiful autumnal look. This one comes in a few different colors. I was debating the different shades because the shade I went for isn't particularly autumn ready, um, but I love my baby blues and it just won me over. It's a really, really nice style. I tend to roll my sleeves up just to make them a bit more wearable. It is a true jacket as well, so it kind of buttons up. You have that pocket right there on each side in the front. And then on the back, it just goes straight down. This color is beautiful. I love the baby blues with the creams. Really, really lovely. And a nice way to transition from summer as well. You know, you have that really great autumn ready shape, but the color is just a little bit lighter. And I love this, like really, really happy with it. Very excited to style it up. And just the nicest, nicest transitional jacket. And now for what I consider to pretty much be autumn in a dress. I saw this and just fell in love with the colors. I, I thought these were so beautiful. The uh, base color is kind of like a really pretty deep plum purple. Very, very lovely. And then you have this great floral print, which is very autumn ready so many different shades. So you have these great olive greens, you have burnt oranges, you have some deep pinks in there, all kinds of different colors. I'll do my best um, to kind of show it all, but it really is pretty. And then it has this lovely ruffle detail around the neckline. You have these gorgeous buttons. I'm always such a sucker for a button detail. And I thought these were lovely. And then it is an elasticated waist. I'm just planning on wearing mine above the bump, but again, obviously if you're not pregnant and you just wear it at your natural waist, it does cinch in as well. It's beautiful quality. It is fully lined and the lining is this lovely rich purple kind of plum color as well very very loose and flowy it is a mini dress but it's not overly short um, i think this would look really cute with both heels and over the knee boots depending on how cold it is outside and then you do have these great ruched sleeves um, i'm probably planning on tucking these in and using them just to create a three-quarter length sleeve but if you wanted to wear this full length then you absolutely could and then you have that beautiful semi sheer effect on the sleeve as well. Absolutely beautiful, the perfect autumnal dress, especially when you do want to have those autumn vibes going, but it's not super cold yet. I thought this was perfect, and I just absolutely love the combination of the color and the beautiful print. And now for this maxi dress, and I'm not gonna lie, this isn't particularly autumn ready, um, but I actually ordered it a while ago. I'm guessing it was on back order or something because I only just received it but it is so incredibly cute. I am loving my maxi dresses, particularly because even though it is like a summer piece, 
I do feel like they transition it really easy because you can just pop jackets and really kind of dress them up or down according to where you're going. And this one is a really lovely kind of simple, it's like, it's not quite a jersey, it's more like a kind of light cotton fabric. It's really, really nice and airy though. Um, it is a full length one, which I love. And then you do have these multiple tiers, which really kind of increase in volume. So you have a nice bit of drama when you move. And it does tie in at the waist as well. So you can really cinch it in if you want a more defined waist. Again, I'm just planning on wearing mine above the bump. It was a really nice, simple crew neck neckline, really cute underneath some nice jewelry. Probably planning on wearing mine with my pearl necklace, which I'm still teaming with pretty much everything. But I love this. I feel like things like this, I always get so much use out of. I particularly like pairing them with my Chanel jumbos. I don't know why. I feel like it's maybe a throwback to the Rachel Zoe Nicole Ritchie era, which I just absolutely loved. Um, but I am always a big fan of a good maxi dress and a Chanel jumbo. This one has pockets as well, which is always a great thing in my book. And I just love it, like really simple, you know, nothing too fussy, but just one of those really nice kind of lived in dresses. And now for this absolutely beautiful cardigan, and I'm not gonna lie, I got this for one reason only, which is the hardware. I thought this was so cute, very much reminds me of the Gucci hardware without the Gucci price tag, like really subtle and not too in your face at all, I don't think, but I love the detailing and how much it dresses up the overall look. This one came in a few different colors, I think, but I fell in love with this beautiful, I guess it's kind of like a camel shade, but it's not overly dark, so it's still quite a light one. I'm almost like a beigey camel tone, I'd say. The hardware is just beautiful, so you have these great statement buttons. You have three of them in the middle, and then you have that great kind of Gucci-esque hardware on the pockets. Just a really beautiful detail. I cannot get enough fit. It is a gold hardware, but it almost has like a hint of rose gold as well. Very, very pretty indeed. Um, again, this is a little bit more of a chunky knit, but because it's cropped, um, it really does help to balance it out. The actual knit is lovely as well. So if you look closely at it, it almost has like a multicolor effect. So you have very subtle shades of like lavender and peach, really beautiful. And I just fell head over heels for this cardigan, just the loveliest thing. And I'm just all about that gorgeous hardware detailing. And then last but not least, I have this pleated skirt, which I just absolutely love. I cannot get enough of this gorgeous style. I was a little bit concerned I might have to give up my pleated skirts when pregnant, but fortunately they seem to work just as well when pregnant as not pregnant. It helps that they are so comfortable to wear as well. I do tend to veer more towards the stretchy ones um, just in general, so that also helps in terms of working for pregnancy. And I thought this one was gorgeous. And um, so the pleated detail is a little bit finer than my normal pleated skirts. I generally tend to go for more of a mid-width pleat, um, whereas this one is very, very fine and lovely. Because of that, it also has a beautiful amount of shimmer as well. And this is just the funnest thing to wear. Like it moves in the most stunning way. I love the color, like this gorgeous navy shade. And you do have that great elasticator waist as well which is just so incredibly comfortable. I believe this one did come in a few colors. Um, I went for the navy, but to be honest, all of the colors were just stunning. I didn't think the price was too bad and the quality is very, very nice as well. And I cannot get enough this. I know I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it. And I'm just very excited about a new pleated skirt to add to my collection. So that is it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pop in my sizes for reference. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece was in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.